We got on this the song Gordo. This is hey, it's a uh, late at night and uh, I hope you can hear this uh, or hear me talking anyway. Uh, just finished watching the fight. Uh, I was getting ready to do my after fight afterthought. I had the fight scored and everything, and then I heard the judges. And first off, I want to say uh, this is probably the uh, one of the biggest robberies I've I've ever witnessed, and uh, I was actually uh, shocked and and embarrassed by what has happened. And I scored the fight. I I actually had it one seventeen to one twelve for Pacquiao, and. Looking at that, you know, um, I don't. I thought he controlled. He, he controlled from the what, the third round through nine. He won every one of those rounds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's seven right there. He won the. Uh, had him win in the eleventh round as well. That's eight rounds minimum. I had the second round to draw. I thought it was close. Uh, Bradley, I thought took the tenth and twelfth, and the uh, first round. Um, but the first round was close. That could have been the draw, or, you know. And uh, this is an absolute disgrace, and I'm, I'm disgusted at it. And, you know, a lot of you guys out there want to call me a Pacquiao hater, but I'll be the first one to stand up and say he got robbed in this fight. And, dude, I wear shirts all the time. I can't be that big of a hater, man. Come on, give me a break. Um, but uh, this is a travesty, and there should be an immediate rematch. Like, tomorrow, because I think Pacquiao would be ready for it. Uh, Bradley was hurt numerous times in this fight. It was uh, it was laughable to for someone to think that he was ever really in control. I even wrote down in here, he finally uh, started getting his legs back in the eighth round. Uh, I mean, Pacquiao had solid rounds. He could almost win. He, it, it's disgusting, yeah. For, the, for this to happen, I had the, this whole after fight after thought, you know, <laughs> I had it done, you know, you know what I'm saying, man, you know, I had it written, uh, it was, it was ready, man, I was getting ready to go with it, and it's, it's so disgusting, I don't know if I, if I can actually do one, so, um, this is my uh, post fight thoughts on it, and, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think about this, uh, and how you feel about the decision. Okay, uh, uh, Aguardo's beside himself. He uh, he locked himself in the bathroom. Uh, he's inconsolable at this moment, and uh, that that's uh, that's about it. And I I apologize to all the many fans out there, you uh, and fans of boxing, because this was a travesty. This was not not a proper uh, uh, proper way to go out there. Jeffrey Roth, actually, he had a 115-113, and I thought that was kind of wishy, but it was for Pacquiao. Uh, but the other two judges, I don't know what the hell fight they were watching, and they need removed. Absolutely removed. Okay? Well, hey, this is a big ragu. And I'm sorry. That's all I can say. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of my, uh, I don't know, judging country, whatever, however you want to call it, right now, for, for boxing. That is, I, I love my country. Okay, <laughs> let me get that up there. I don't want people shooting me in. I, I, I think you won, bro. Alright, well, this is the Big Ragu. Guardo. He's gone, man. Uh, I'm out.